Okay, so it was a pretty upbeat 10 minutes. We're now gonna bring the level down. And just chill out a little bit with a stretch. We're gonna do five stretches. You can classify them as almost yin yoga style stretches, but done in a chair. Okay, so let's get that chair, set it up for me, and I'll just grab my chair. So with our chair, sitting tall, and I'm walking my feet around until they hit against the back of the chair. I want to make sure I stay tall, then just gently reach and grab the back of the chair. And we want to use the chair and the arms to just add a little bit, bit of tension to the rotation. So off we go, try and stay relaxed through your abs and midsection. Breathe nice and deep. Looking over that shoulder, away from your legs. Okay, let's release. We're gently now going to go the other way. So walking the feet around. I'll turn my chair around so that I'm still talking towards the microphone. So now I'm going the other way. I go as far as I can to my legs hit, sitting tall through the spine. Turn your chest gently, grabbing the back of the chair. Turn the heads, look over that shoulder, away from your legs. Once again, try and keep those, that abdominal area, the abdominal cavity relaxed. But still want to think tall through the spine. Breathe into the stretch. As we breathe in, you'll feel the body expand. And as we breathe out, it's like we're making room to allow the body to relax. Stretch just a little bit more. And let's release. Sitting nice and tall. Cross that foot over like so. And I'll pull that knee in towards the centre of your chest. Once again, sitting tall. Now, if you're somebody that's hypermobile, you may not feel this stretch or many stretches, you may not feel the, the basic beginner level of it. With this one, you can drop your knee and actually pull yourself down over the knee. You might find you feel that a little more. But what we are looking to just do is sit tall and pull that knee in. And breathe. It's always nice to close your eyes when you're having a stretch. Okay, let's release. We will change sides. I hope you worked hard during that 10 minutes and you have had the requirements of a towel as well. Sit tall, pull the knee in. Once again, you can close your eyes if you wish. Focus on nice, even breaths. When you breathe in, it's nice just to hold the breath in, just for a count, just a small hold. Focusing on the area, you can feel stretching and just breathing the tightness out of that muscle. Very good, okay. Now I'm going to turn my chair side on again. Now 
Yeah. If you have any knee issues, this is a nice one to have. Maybe a folded up towel or a pillow or something on the ground or a yoga block if you have one handy. I'm going to just fold my towel up because my left knee is not very good. I'm going to pop my towel down in the centre of the chair. About that distance away, that arm's length away. I'm going to kneel on that. I'm then going to lunge forward. Big lunge forward. The knee should be almost directly over the top of the ankle. Shin bone close to vertical, thereabouts. Head and chest up. And I'm letting my back hip sink forward towards the floor, towards the earth, as they say in yoga. Once again, you can close your eyes. Nice deep breathing. Holding the breath in for a pause, absorbing this tension out of the muscle, breathing that tension out. This is a wonderful stretch for people who sit down a lot. Okay, we'll relax gently out of that stretch. Let's change sides. Once again, big lunge out. Hands on the hip, head and chest up. Letting that back hip sink forward towards the ground. Nice deep breaths. Gently out of that stretch we come. Okay, just two stretches to go. First one we're going to do is a downward dog. Now, you'll see with my downward dog, it's a long way from perfect. I've got a ruptured disc in my lower back. I've got chronic tightness through that area in my hips. I've got arthritis in my hips as well. So even though I stretch and train a lot, my mobility in that area is not great. I'm still going to do a downward dog because I love doing them and they are very beneficial. But you yogis out there, or people who do these a lot, you'll notice that mine looks pretty dodgy. Okay, let's go. Hands and knees. Knees under hips. Hands under shoulders. Spread those fingers out. Dig those toes in. Pushing your weight up and back into your heels. Drop your head between your arms. And breathe. Let's now take our dog for a little walk, just by gently bending one knee, then the other. Okay, down we come. We're going to finish right here. Toes together. Open those knees up around shoulder width apart. Walk those arms out in front. And then coming back, looking to maintain that curve in the lower back. Elbows down. And 
And if you find it comfortable, you can drop your forehead on the floor. Any shoulder issues at all, bring your hands back a little further. Try and find a comfortable position that suits you. Gently up we come from there. And hopefully I'll see you all on the other side of this lockdown very soon. Cheers guys. Dare I say, namaste.